Sony Picture Profiles. How do they work? What do they do? In this video, I'll go over the picture profile settings using a Sony A7R Mark III. Now, in the next two presets, things start to get interesting. Under PP5, we'll see we have now have a gamma response curve called Kini 1 and a color mode called Cinema. PP6, we also have a gamma response curve called Kini 2 using the same color mode of Cinema. Now, as I said previously, we can change the gamma level in any of these presets. If I click into this, you'll see I have a choice of up to four Kini gammas. What are they and what do they do? These are the first ones in the preset range that allows us a bit more flexibility in post with less compressed highlights and shadows than the standard ones. They all render highlight and shadow contrast slightly different from each other and I would recommend that you experiment with them to see which one is the best for you. However, just take note that if I switch to Kini 4, then my ISO is limited to 200 and above. Whereas using a gamma of Kini 1 allows me to dial down the ISO to 100. Also, just be aware of using Kini 2. It caps the video signal at 100% where the other three allows the signal to go to 109%. What that means is that your highlights might not look blown out, but you can easily lose detail in highlight areas that could have been regained or retained in post. I hope this video will help you to get more out of your Sony camera. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.